Often as an artist, she'll get uh, an idea like that real quick. But what does it mean? And sometimes, you, I'm not sure. You know, I, I think artists are very intuitive about things. You know, we do things without realizing it. And uh, once I flesh the idea out, then it's recognizable. Uh, a writer has a lot of words. I have a lot of shapes. I have a lot of things. There's a lot of uh, elements that I've seen in my life that I like. And when I find a simple shape, I'll make a mold of it. And then I'll pour wax into it. And that's another little, little piece of uh, vocabulary that I've got. I use a lot of uh, shapes and forms that are right off my property. I use natural elements. There are certain technical qualities that are also visual, you know, so I'll try to build them into particular pieces to try to help me tell the story of the piece. I try to present something to the viewer. I try not to put a title on it, no. I'll try to put it out there and have them interpret it. And, uh, it, so it's kind of an intellectual thing, you know, they've got to get into it, to be able to really get into it, they've got to look at it and then analyze it, rather than just, uh, I don't want to do a piece of fluff, so I'm going to do something that makes their mind work a little bit. This is a, an example of using from found objects from nature and how I've kind of mixed them up and, and how I've tried to translate it into a story or have allowed it to become the story itself. In, in this case, I've, I've taken one of my wonderful heads and I've applied a hat on its head. And the hat is made from an agapanthus. It's a flower that we see all the time. Uh, yet I've taken the agapanthus when it was dead and dried out, dipped it in wax, and now it becomes an urchin. Okay. And maybe I've put a nice simple piece of architecture coming out of the, the back of the head, maybe as if it's part of a, an old building, maybe a temple. And the more you get into it and let your imagination go, maybe this is part of Atlantis. Or is it up above and it's, and it's us dealing with sculptures of fish on it. You know, I've tried to put all these different elements and allowed you the opportunity to come up with your own story.